Naging matagumpay at produktibo ang limang araw na pagbisita sa Japan ni Pangulong Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. Ito ang binigyang diin ng presidente sa kanyang pagbalik sa Pilipinas kahapon February 12, 2023. Bilang katuparan ng pangako ng dalawang bansa na higit pang palakasin ang partnership, iniulat ng Pangulo na sa kanyang pakikipagpulong kay punong ministro Fumeo Kishida, pinagtibay niya at ng pinuno ng Japan ang mga relasyon sa depensa at siguridad, agrikultura at pakikipagtulungan sa information and communications technology kasama ang paglagda ng mga bilateral na kasunduan na nagbibigay ng framework para sa pinahusay na mutually beneficial collaborations sa mar- Maraming lugar. At para sa iba pang detalye, panoorin sa video ito. The First Lady and I, together with the Philippine delegation composed of government officials and business leaders, are happy to be back in Philippines with great news from our visit to Japan. I had a very fruitful meeting with Minister, Prime Minister Kishida Fumio. Bound by shared values and common aspirations for our peoples, we committed to further strengthen the strategic partnership between the Philippines and Japan and mapped out a transformative future-oriented partnership that is responsive to new developments. We have cemented our defense and security relations. We have also uh, covered a great deal of ground in the areas of agriculture, ICT, cooperation, and with the signing of bilateral agreements that provide the framework for enhanced mutually beneficial collaboration in many areas. As uh, ever, our partner Japan committed to provide in- infrastructure development loans for two major projects, the North-South Commuter Railway for Malolos to Tuban and the North-South Commuter Railway Project Extension, all this totaling 377 billion Japanese yen or the equivalent of about 3 billion U.S. dollars. The completion of these projects, along with other ongoing large-scale official development assistant projects, such as the Metro Manila subway project and many more across the country, are expected to translate to better lives for Filipinos through improved facilitation of the movement of people, of goods, and of services. During this visit to Japan, I also met with business leaders and potential investors. In our roundtable meetings, I briefed them on the new and better business climate and investment environment in the Philippines. Key private sector representatives were with me and engaged with Japanese industry giants to seize the economic opportunities now present in the Philippines. Coming back, we carry with us over 13 billion U.S. dollars in contributions and pledges to benefit our people, create approximately 24,000 jobs, and further solidify the foundations of our economic environment. I also also talked to uh, the CEOs of Japanese shipping companies and associations. This was very important as Japan has the second largest maritime industry in the world, and they employ 31,673 Filipino seafarers. That number constitutes 70% of the maritime crew of the Japanese ship owners. And the Japanese shipping companies also have investments and long-term partnerships with Philippine stakeholders in maritime education and welfare programs. I had the honor of having an imperial audience with their majesties, the Emperor Naruhito, and Empress Masako of Japan, in my audience with Her Majesties, we reaffirm the commitment that we have to enhance the close friendship and cultural ties between Filipinos and Japanese. Last but not least, earlier today, I had the pleasure of speaking before fellow Filipinos living and working in Japan this morning. We have close to 300,000 overseas Filipinos living in Japan. And while I know that they are doing well there and are very well respected in their profession, I assure them that this administration is committed to creating more job opportunities in the Philippines so that working abroad will become a career choice and not uh, not the only option available to them. I told them that we are working doubly hard to enact policies to forge partnerships that will make our economy more competitive and attractive to foreign investors and to entrepreneurs. From my visit, it was very clear that our strategic partnership with Japan 
has withstood the test of time and is poised for a new decade of mutual trust, mutual support, and mutual benefit. At dahil Valentine's Day na bukas, ready na si Pangulong Marcos sa date nila ng kanyang First Lady na si Attorney Liza Araneta Marcos na nakasama niya sa limang araw na official working visit sa Japan. Sabi ng punong ikotibo sa kanyang panayam sa media, may plano na daw siya para bukas Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day na naman. Oh, ang bilis ng panahon. Oh gosh, do I have any plans? I do now. <laughs> Hanggang dito na lamang muna, ito po ang inyong lingkod, Zoe, your forever katurto, magandang araw.